Hello, I'm Melinda Nusifora with a look at some of the things people are talking about and the stuff they're sharing online. On Newsfeed today, teenage climate warrior Greta Thunberg sails into New York with a message for the president. India's Prime Minister urges his country to get moving Modi style. A volcanic eruption on the Italian island of Stromboli. The pictures are as impressive as they are terrifying. And sometimes a TikTok fail is almost as good as the original. We've got an update on the Mr. Sandman cat craze. Greta Thunberg doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk. Or in this case, she sails. After 15 days at sea, the teenage climate warrior has arrived in New York for a UN climate summit. She sailed all the way there from the UK in an effort to minimise her carbon footprint. Ezra Oskul has more. Climate activist Greta Thunberg is back on land. After spending 15 days at sea, travelling to America in a zero carbon emission sailboat, she took to the high seas because flying is bad for the planet. This is very overwhelming and uh, the ground is still shaking for me. It is insane that a 16-year-old have to cross the Atlantic Ocean to, to make a stand and to... And uh, this, of course, is not something that I want everyone to do. It's been one year since the 16-year-old skipped school to protest outside Sweden's parliament. Since then, she has started a global youth movement dedicated to fighting the climate crisis. She is vegan, no longer buys new clothes and tries to travel carbon-free. Recently, her home country, Sweden, passed a climate law to cut greenhouse gas emissions to zero by 2045. But she's not done yet. The climate and ecological crisis is a global crisis and the biggest crisis humanity has ever faced. And if we don't manage to work together, to cooperate and to, to work together despite our differences, then we will fail. So we need to, to stand together and support each other and, uh, and to take action because otherwise it might be too late. So let's not wait any longer, let's do it now. Her latest expedition is to attend UN climate summits in the US and Chile. And she has a message for the President of the United States, who rejects the overwhelming accepted science surrounding climate change. My message for him is just listen to the science, and he obviously doesn't do that. So, I mean, I, as I always say to this question, if if any, no one has been able to convince him about the climate crisis, the, the urgency, then why should I be able to do that? So I'm just going to, to now focus on, on spreading awareness and that people in general will start caring and realize how big of a crisis this is. What an impressive young girl. Let's have a look now at some of the other things that caught our eye on social media. US Congresswoman Ilhan Omar has opened up on Twitter about receiving a death threat. She posted a picture of the anonymous letter and wrote, I hate that we live in a world where you have to be protected from fellow humans. I hated it as a child living through war and I hate it now. She also retweeted a photo of a bodyguard standing behind her at the event. An aquarium in San Francisco has upped the ante in its new marketing campaign. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is challenging the public to get serious about protecting the oceans. One of its new billboards says, this jelly has no brain and even it knows our oceans are in trouble. The aquarium is also a conservation foundation and it's hoped the pictures will inspire action. This next one is a real tearjerker. This photo has gone viral and the heartwarming story has even been picked up by major US news outlets. 
eight-year-old Connor started crying on his first day of second grade. Instead of ignoring him or even worse, teasing him, his classmate Christian held his hand and walked him into school. The act of kindness has been shared around the world as a reminder of what we can learn from children. All you need is a little grit to get fit. That's the message from Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He's launched the Fit India Movement, a program encouraging all Indians to inject some physical activity into their daily lives. Rebecca Bunham has, uh, is in Mumbai with this lowdown. The Fit India Movement is aimed at encouraging Indian citizens to live a healthier lifestyle and exercise more. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is himself known for his love of yoga. At the launch of the movement, he said that people's physical activity had decreased with the growth of technology, and that's why the country needs a bit of a push in terms of leading healthier lifestyles. There have been a lot of positive responses from people on social media. Bollywood stars and sports stars are among those lending their support to the campaign. Actress Shilpa Shetty says in today's fast-paced life, being fit is as important as breathing. And she posts a video of herself doing a bit of yoga. India's sports minister has also posted a video of himself in action on Twitter and encourages people to join the movement. But there's always room for a little bit of humour. This cartoon from the Deccan Herald newspaper shows someone struggling to lift an economic crisis weight and Mr Modi cheering India on, which is a comment on the current economic challenges the country is facing with unemployment and slowing growth. Of course, it's a very serious matter though and obesity is on the rise in India and with that there's an increase in the rate of diabetes and heart disease. So broadly, this campaign is seen as very, very positive. Run for your life or grab your camera? That's been the dilemma for locals and tourists on the Italian island of Stromboli. A second major volcanic eruption in as many months has hit the island. Check it out. Does the rat race of city living ever give you that sinking feeling? Well, turns out it's not just an emotion, but a reality in some places. Have a look at this.
A new academic year has started for Palestinian students, but for how long? The UN agency that operates schools in the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank says it's struggling. A multi-million dollar funding shortfall and a difficult political climate are jeopardising their education programs. Here's some more details. budget for all UNRWA operations uh, in Gaza, the West Bank, East Jerusalem, Syria, Jordan and Lebanon for this year is $1.2 billion. And at this moment, we have a remaining shortfall of $151 million. Let's go around the world now for some other stories you need to know about this Thursday. Pinterest is taking a stand against the spread of what it calls vaccine misinformation. Users who search for terms like measles or vaccine safety are being directed to official public health groups. The World Health Organization has been warning that the global measles outbreak is spreading. The level of reported cases is the highest it's been for more than a decade. Turns out it's not just Siri who's been listening to iPhone customers using the digital assistant. Apple has apologised after being caught out for passing on some audio recordings to a third party. The contractors were given access to help improve Siri's accuracy, but instead they heard recordings of things like private medical consultations and even drug deals. It's obviously raised privacy concerns and Apple says it's suspended the practice. And scientists are in a spin over, uh, after news broke that the world's oldest skull has been found in Ethiopia. The fossil was discovered in 2016, but it's taken three years to analyse. Paleoanthropologists from the Cleveland University of Natural History in Ohio say it's 3.8 million years old. That predates Lucy, who was considered our oldest ape-like human relative. Last week in our Animals Doing Stuff segment, we brought you the Mr Sandman Challenge. If you need a reminder, well, here's the original. It had us here at Newsfeed cracking up, but it seems the Mr Sandman fails are even better. Heaps of cat owners have tried to recreate the viral TikTok video. And while some felines were loving their moment in the spotlight, others, well, they weren't keen at all. The craze has now spread to dog owners who were getting their pooches involved. But we personally love this one, a stuffed toy. At least you know they'll play along. And that's all from the Newsfeed team. You can get in touch with us with any questions or comments at Mindy News Sephora. You'll find us 24-7 on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow.